if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 8 of the Wolfsburg career mode here on FIFA 16. We start with a game at home against Hanover, of course, in the Bundesliga. We've had a decent start to the season, as you can see. We currently sat 5th, but with the game in hand on uh, at least Cologne above us. So uh, hopefully, if we can pick up 3 points here, that will get us into the top 4 and into those Champions League spots. But we're obviously starting a very strong 4-2-3-1. Uh, Manolo Gabbiadini starts on the right-hand side with Daniel Caligiuri on the left and Julian Draxler at Cam. So it's a slightly changed lineup to the one that we uh, we put out against Bayern Munich in the final game of yesterday's episode, but still should be strong enough to see off the threat of Hanover. Obviously, uh, we're in a decent position and a decent run of form. We haven't, we've only lost one game all season so far, I think, in uh, all competitions. So hopefully we can continue that good run of form. Danny Caligiuri gives way to Ricardo Rodriguez here for this free kick. Obviously, you want a fantastic delivery here from a left footer, and it was a decent delivery. Unfortunately, though, Max Cruiser, with two defenders on him, couldn't quite angle the header on target. So after five minutes, we had to try it again. Sakai, though, is going to give it into Klaus here. They actually give it away. Kalajuri steals the interception. Cruiser quickly around the corner to Julian Draxer. And the defender, Marcelo, is quickly across to, uh, to get the block in on that particular effort. But uh, Hanover weren't offering much offensively in this, uh, in this first half. As you can see, we're continually just picking their passes off and getting the ball back. Gabbiadini is going to dink it over looking for Julian Drax here. I don't understand how he's been able to bring that down, but what a thumping finish from the young German in off the underside of the bar. Fantastic strike. Great technique to keep it down as well, although it was rising. But you can see from the replay here, the defender just misjudges the header and it actually drops onto Drax's chin. He almost loses his balance as he's not expecting the ball to come over the, the defender's head but he's able to uh, you know show good agility get the ball under control and then rifle it into the back of the net looking for a second here if we can it drops to uh, Taliso Corentin Taliso on the edge of the box but a uh, good save by Ron Robert Zeela and his defender mops up nicely giving it back to him so they can clear their lines we're almost into the second half but there's still time in this first period for Hanover to have a chance of their own. They haven't done much coming forward so far, but they are putting together a really nice move here. Edinch involves in almost every single pass into Kiyotake, but uh, unfortunately for him, Bernalio was on hand. Not had anything to do this half, but when he was called upon, he was uh, alert enough and kept his concentration up and he was able to make a decent save. Luis Gustavo with a rather, uh, I don't know, ambitious attempt from distance there. I was getting a little bit frustrated with the fact that we couldn't quite find that second goal, but Danny Caligiuri, uh, in fact, no, it was Max Cruz, sorry. I thought it was Danny Caligiuri whipping that one just wise. Or maybe it was. It just zoomed in on Max Cruiser. But uh, that one flashed just past the uh, the far post. So still only 1-0 the gap. And they're on the attack coming down the other end. We somehow managed to get the ball back off Erdinch there. But unfortunately, we give it straight back to them. And Erdinch has played in behind. But again, Benaglio on hand to make a very smart save. That was headed towards the uh, inside of that top corner. But we stay at 1-0 for now. Our clean sheet is intact. We are the best defensive side in the league to this point. And hoping, obviously, to continue that. Because if we do, we'll get a 1-0 win. Cruiser hits the inside of the post here. Then Manolo Gabbiadini draws a good save out of Ron Robert Zila and Taliso can't get it under control. And the defender is able to just slash it straight up in the air and the keeper collects at the uh, second attempt. But Gabbiadini intercepts here, sends through Max Cruiser. Solid tackle from Andreasen. And for some reason, the referee gives a free kick. He's going to come across and obviously he was the last man there. So the referee is given the straight red card, but you'll be able to see from the replay. Never been a foul. Yes, he gets the man, but he gets the ball at the same time. Such a strong challenge. But look, there's the ball. It's a clear ball-winning challenge. But because he's got the man first, the game registers it as a foul. Doesn't take into account the fact that it, uh, you know he clearly won the ball in a very strong fashion as well. So the referee sent him off. So with less than 10 minutes to go, almost less than 5 minutes to go now, as uh, we pick up the ball here with Rodriguez, who came off the bench. Obviously, we've seen him growing quite nicely to this point in the career mode with all of the training we've been doing but sadly he wasn't able to find the back of the net there with the final chance of the game but we were able to get a 2-0 victory apparently I've forgotten to put in Max Cruz's second goal I apologize or the second goal Max Cruz made it two before the end of that particular game uh, I'm not really too sure why I haven't put that highlight in I apologize at least I put the end scoreline in to uh, remind us or remind myself that we were able to pick up a second there I can't actually even remember scoring a second goal in that game I thought that was the final highlight but never mind we won 2-0 
2-0 against Hanover. Apologies for the uh, slight editing mistake, but we come into the second game of the Champions League now, away from home against Real Madrid. Obviously, we've got a very slim 1-0 margin of victory against Juventus in the opening game of the Champions League, playing uh, a still a bit of a rotation side. There's a lot of fixture congestion right now. Verinha plays through Diekmeyer here. The right back, obviously, got fantastic pace and bursts forward, loves to get into an attacking position, has the first chance of the game there, but it was a simple save for Kike Casilla, obviously replacing Ike Casillas, similar names, but uh, replacing Ike Casillas, who's now gone to Porto, but uh, they brought him in from Espanyol, he's actually a decent goalkeeper, and Marcelo was very pleased there, as you can see, with his uh, interception and his block, stopping the uh, the header coming in at the back post, but there was nothing defenders or goalkeeper could do about that free kick from Hakan Salonolu, a wonderful free kick, when it ran over to celebrate with the substitutes, it's the first time I've actually done that in, uh, in FIFA 16, I love the fact that you could do that or celebrate in front of the camera as well but uh, the 95 free kick accuracy that Hakan Chalanolu has in clear display there he's about 30 yards out and the technique is just gorgeous you'll see from the uh, the second replay as it comes over the top of the wall perhaps if they jumped it they might have been able to keep it out but the whip and turn and dip on the ball incredible free kick from the Turk and that gives us a 1-0 lead here at the Santiago Bernabeu looking for a second though if we can Chalanolu in behind again played in by Fakir but unfortunately he was offside despite the fact that he missed the target so uh, even if it had gone in it wouldn't have counted so uh, we of course, continuing to try and get ourselves a uh, another chance, but actually we get picked off here. Hamis comes through, perhaps a little bit uh, hasty with the shot. Could have tried to turn and get the ball to a, a, a teammate. They would have been in, in a better position to score, but they're just slashing at the chances at the minute. Real Madrid kind of put off or uh, you know knocked off their stride by the fact that we've gone in front with that uh, set piece. And we go in front with another set piece here. The header from Dante from the corner. Chalanolu now with an assist to go with his goal from the free kick, whipping that corner in, and the giant Brazilian wins the uh, the header and scores his first goal as a Wolfsburg player. But Hamez was involved again. This time does show the presence of mind to get a turn in and find a teammate, and it keeps the move going. Hesse though isn't going to look for a teammate here. He's just going to dance in side my defenders not once not twice and tries to do the keeper with the eyes thought he was going to either lay it across or try and finesse it into the far top corner and in fact tries to drill it at the near post but his accuracy isn't good enough and uh, that chance is wasted by Hesse. Scherler goes on a run of his own here. He's eventually going to lay the ball across the middle to Maximiliano. Gets it under control. It's headed towards the back of the net, but bends away at the last moment. And we do get a 2-0 victory away from home against Real Madrid. And I was thinking to myself, this is becoming a little bit too easy now. I'm getting a little bit better at the game. Professional is feeling too easy, but I'm still not feeling like I'm comfortable enough on world class. But I'm going to give it a go in this game here against Borussia Mönchengladbach. We're fourth in the league right now. They are currently second, as you can see. There's actually four sides there on 14 points. So it's ridiculously close at the top of the table. We have the best defensive record, but they have the most goals scored in the league to this point. So... It's probably not the best of games to have turned it up to world class for the uh, the team that we're playing against to be free scoring. But we'll try our best to keep a clean sheet or at least get a decent result if we can. Uh, obviously, I uh, am playing on world class now in every game on the, the Twitch career mode with Atleti. So I'm getting a little bit more practice in on world class, but I haven't been getting the results in that series to this point since I've stepped it up to world class. But I'm hoping if I could just play a really, really patient game I'll be able to uh, to pick up three points here, or at least a point. But they come on the attack in the opening 20 minutes or so. I've been told in the comments and on by people on Twitter that the best uh, method of approach is we get really lucky there is the deflection or the save from the goalkeeper falls to its uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach teammate that actually rifles it over the top of the bar with uh, plenty of space to put it into the back of the net. But uh, he's probably their top goal scorer as well, their striker. Lars Stindl turns it back inside to that striker as well. And uh, he has another shot well saved by Diego Benaglio. But been told by you guys in the comment section and on Twitter and in the Twitch chat as well to uh, to perhaps let my uh, let my defenders just get on with the defending themselves and maybe you know control a holding midfielder just to try and block off the passing lanes and be patient in my defending as well as patient in my attack and perhaps you know close down. 
the uh, the man on the ball a little less vigorously and let the uh, the CPU make a mistake rather than trying to force that mistake. But we, as you've seen so far, we've had to rely on some fantastic saves from Bonaglio to keep them out to this point. Going to try and get the ball clear here, but it only goes as far as a uh, last stindle after a, a layoff from a teammate. But another top save from Diego Bonaglio. We keep our nil-nil scoreline for now. We don't necessarily deserve to still be in this game. It's only the uh, wonderful saves from our Swiss goalkeeper that means that we still have the scoreline at nil-nil. Danny Calajuri, though, being patient with that cross, turning inside, going on a lovely run, but the defender gets a great block in, and then it's my turn to slash over from a deflection with an open goal waiting to be scored on. Manolo Gabbiadini this time slashing at the chance, and it goes over the bar. But Manolo Gabbiadini is involved again, laying it out wide to Julian Draxler here. There's a bit of a gap there for Gabbiadini to run into. He gets into it, has the shot, and the free kick is given on the edge of the box. Not a penalty. Manolo Gabbiadini feigns injury and then immediately jumps up and is like having a big old argument with Jan uh, Tony Janschke. But uh, I thought that was a peno. He went down, seemingly for me, in the box, or at least on the line. But the referee gave a free kick right on the edge. so And we weren't able to score from it, unfortunately. But Julian Drax is coming down the left-hand side here. Again, being patient, turning inside rather than trying to whip in uh, a hopeful cross. And you would not have believed the relief that coursed through my veins when we scored that goal to go 1-0 up in the 89th, 90th minute. We didn't deserve three points from that one, but we got the 1-0 victory. We ground it out. So I'm going to stay on world class, I think, for now. I'm going to try the next episode on the Chelsea career mode on world class as well for Monday. And uh, you may have to put up with a bit of a sticky patch of form for me in both series, but I'm going to try my best to step up to the next difficulty uh, level. I have seen a lot of you guys who were complaining at me for being on professional and then have picked up the game and actually tweeted me and been like, you know what, Chez, world class is actually pretty damn difficult this year. So uh, I appreciate the fact that some of you have been able to uh, admit your mistakes or, you know, be... Uh, be mature enough to be to come to me on Twitter and be like, you know what, Chase, you were actually right. It is pretty difficult on world class. But hopefully we can continue our good run of form despite the increasing difficulty. We are second in the league now, but Schalke do have a game in hand and Bayern and Borussia Dortmund do have a game on, in hand on us. And should they win those games in hand, they will either draw level with us on goal difference or go above us on goal difference. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. But of course, coming up on your screen around about now are all the links to my social media. Links are in the description down below. I won't rabble on. I've had a a few people complaining that uh, at the end of every video I tend to go on a little bit of a ramble saying follow the you know subscribe to the channel drop a like check all the social links etc so I will try and keep those rambles to uh, to the minimum for now thank you very much for watching drop the video a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already check all the links in the description and I'll see you next time